Hi students, welcome to Future Doctor NEET Academy for the problem solving session in NEET Physics. But today is not going to problem solving the session, it is just giving the problem. And the next session only we are going to find the solution or solving this problem. Topic chosen today is from chapter 8, Electromagnetic Waves, shortly EM Waves. Let's move to first question. The ratio of contributions made by the electric field and the magnetic field components to the intensity of an electromagnetic wave is dash. Here given C mentioned here is the velocity of electromagnetic wave or speed of electromagnetic wave. Option A 1 is to 1. Option B 1 is to C. C option 1 is to C square. D option C is to 1. There is a relation between speed of the electromagnetic wave C and the electric field component B and the magnetic field component B. If you relate these three, then you will get the answer. Okay. Let's move to second question. An electromagnetic wave is propagating in a medium with a velocity V equal to V i cap. The intense instantaneous oscillating electric field of this electromagnetic wave is along positive y axis. Then the direction of oscillating magnetic field of electromagnetic wave will be along dash. Option A minus y direction. B option plus z direction. C option minus z direction. D option minus x direction. We may know that is speed of the electromagnetic wave is moving in one axis and magnetic field component in another axis, magnetic field component and electric field component in other axis. And these three are mutually perpendicular. In that idea, in that concept, if you apply, you can find whether it is in plus is a direction or minus is a direction or minus y direction or minus x direction. Okay, let's move to question number three. Light with an energy flux of 25 into 10 power 4 watt meter power minus 2 falls on a perfectly reflecting surface at normal incidence. If the surface area is 15 centimeters square, the average force exerted on the surface is dash. A option 1.25 into 10 power minus 6 Newton. B option 2.5 into 10 power minus 6 Newton. C option 1.20 into 10 power minus 6 Newton. D option 3.0 into 10 power minus 6 Newton. So while doing this problem, you should calculate carefully. Don't take approximate in possible way. Okay. Let's move to problem number four. The velocity of electromagnetic wave is along the direction of dash. A option B cross E. B option E cross B. C option E. B option B. Here one thing you want to note down. This B and E as mentioned in block letter. What does that represent? Already we have discussed in some other question session that block letter represent is a vector quantity. We can represent vector in two ways. One is B followed by arrow mark or bold letter. So this B cross E or E cross B or E or B is in vector notation. Let's move to question number five. The wavelength of light of frequency 100 hertz is dash. Option A 2 into 10 power 6 meter. B option 3 into 10 power 6 meter. C option 4 into 10 power 6 meter. Last option 5 into 10 power 6 meter. So here frequency is given. We should find wavelength if you know the value of velocity. By knowing the velocity, you can find the wavelength. Let's move to next problem. Question number 6. If lambda v, lambda x and lambda m represents the wavelength of the visible light, the x-rays and microwaves, then option A, lambda m is greater than lambda x is greater than lambda v. B option, lambda v is greater than lambda m is greater than lambda x. C option, lambda m is greater than lambda v is greater than lambda x. Last option, lambda v is less than lambda x is less than lambda m. You know the, the table form for all the seven electromagnetic waves. I think there are seven electromagnetic waves, you know. From these seven electromagnetic waves, the table in wavelength table you have to go through. And you want to compare the wavelength of the visible light, the x-rays and the microwaves. Based on this, you have to choose the, you should choose the correct option. 
Let's move to last two question. Pick out the longest wavelength from the following types of radiation. Option A, blue light. B, gamma rays. C, X rays. D, red light. This also from the table, that electromagnetic waves table or electromagnetic wave spectrum chart, you should find out the correct answer, which is having longest wavelength among these four. Okay, thank you, students. And in next session, we are going to solve the problem for these seven questions. Thank you. Thank you all.